first time filmmaker and a first time producer. So I, I would give all credit to Gio and Jyoti and Priyanka and, and, and the entire team of Gio. Right. So it's like, uh, you know, talking about new beginnings. So B62, your maiden uh, production. And of course, the both of you, the, the wonderful couple here, they are welcoming uh, uh, some more good news. So would you like to talk about that? So, uh, so this uh, film is a family affair. Uh, <laughs> my, <laughs> my brother was there. Uh, my wife was there. And... Uh, there's a baby on its way who was, who was present. So <laughs> outside, <laughs> but uh, uh, it was an amazing time because um, uh, the way the film happened and the way we got to know about the baby on its way also it almost felt like. Uh, Abhimanyu Ali story The baby knows exactly about how. 370 was <laughs> abrogated, but yeah, so that's how it happened. But uh, yeah, soon you will you will uh, get to know that if it's gonna be a Lakshmi or a Ganesha, oh, but so it's gonna be happiness, I'm sure. It's gonna be happiness. One last thing, you know, creatively you're collaborating with. Yes. I think this is your Agla collaboration. So yes. how was that? It was phenomenal. Uh, matlab, uh, Set pe discussion hote the, fir ghar pe jaake dant khate the. <laughs> it was good fun. No, no, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. No, no. But uh, uh, she's a thorough professional, and she knows uh, her shit. Sorry to say that, but she knows her shit really, really well. So, um, and uh, it's something where I really feel uh, honored and privileged that. I, I truly, I feel I lucked out that I got married to her because as a human being, she's one of the best human beings you will ever meet. She's spiritual, she's religious. She's somebody who's very thorough about her work. Um, uh, she's very professional. If you call her at 6 a.m. for a shoot, she'll be there, be there no matter what by 5.30. And she'll be ready, like sitting, waiting. And for that, she'll get up at like 3.30, take a shower and then do puja every day, no matter what. So that way is I completely lucked out professionally, personally. I think I'm one of the most luckiest guy in this world. Oh. That's, that's an awe oh moment. <laughs> oh, Aditya Dhar, sir. Thank you. If, 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 if I, I cry right now, they'll say it's pregnancy hormones, but it's not. It's, it's <laughs> no, no, so don't cry. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And now I uh, would like to invite on stage, ladies and gentlemen, uh, the other producer, of course, the better half of B62, I would say. <laughs> <laughs> Give it up for Lokesh Dhar, sir, ladies and gentlemen. Come on, make some noise. There he comes. Welcome, sir. By the way, Lokesh is older than me. He is five, six years older than me. He looks younger, but he's older than me. Now, the first question here is, what is the story of the Okay, Lokesh, sir, this one's for you. Please tell us, first of all, B62 is what? Like, yeah, yeah. So, B62 is the address where we grew up, Aditya and me. So it's, it's, it's the place where I was born. It's the place Aditya was born. It's the place where my parents, our parents got married. And uh, the first 12, 13 years of my life and seven, eight years of Aditya's life, we grew up there. Mm -hmm. So the history is basically on one side, there was a theater called Sapna. This is in Delhi. Okay. And on the other side, there was a theater called Alankar. And every Sunday, our parents would take us to one of the theaters. Right. And that's where our love for film started. We became extremely passionate. Uh, uh, we were big fans of Amitabh and all of that world. Uh, so we are not from film business as such. But I have been in the film business for more than 20 years, but in the US. Okay. And we joined hands in 2019. Right. Aditya had made uh, Uri, and uh, he had come to US. And uh, we decided that we wanted to start something. And um, uh, you know, this is an exciting moment for us. It's the first public event where we talk about our company, where we talk about the trailer. Yeah. So yeah, 
So, it's so this is your maiden venture, I would say. Of course, here, you know, what kind of discussions were going on while while working on Article 370? Just Talk to us about that, please. So, this is a very personal film for us. We are both Kashmiri Pandits. So, our families have been affected by this thing. So, this is not something that we were thinking of uh, making when the Article 370 was abrogated. Mm. The germination of this happened much before that. Right. Not this film exactly, but the events which have taken place in our lives, in our uh, f you know relatives and all of that. So, in terms of just the film, we are very thorough when it comes to film. Mm. So, when it comes to discussions, when it comes to scripting, even on the day of the shoot, mm -hmm. we are working on the script. Right. Even on the morning, I mean, Priyamani and Yami would address that and Jamle that in the morning, sometimes we don't know what has to be shot where because we are still trying to, f you know, fine tune the script. Mm. So as professionals, for everything we do, you know, we want to make it perfect, as, as good as possible, you know. There are so many constraints, but in the constraints that we have, let's make it as good as possible. Let's, let's create something which is of international standard. Right. Yeah. Right. Talking about goodness and perfectionism, sir, I have I have something to hold on to today. You know, it's like I am I am feeling all perfect hosting this. So now I know you have a lot of questions. So it's over to the wonderful uh, members of the press. G. Oh. Yeah, we can hear you. So. Uh, <laughs> Okay, so uh, of course you are always, as a director, you are always ten tempted when you hear a great story. But as the as the belief of our company, so like it took me almost 17, 18 years to make a Nori. I was supposed to direct my first film in 2009, that didn't happen. I was supposed to direct my first film in 2011, that didn't happen. 2013, 14, 16, for various reasons that didn't happen. And finally, Uri happened after 10 years, 2019 it released. And I understood that there was a huge problem which I feel uh, in, with our industry where the talent was not being backed. It was like she said that, uh, like there was thoda chacha bhatida vaad thoda zada tha. And I met him during 2019 uh, national awards and we, we happened to speak to each other at that time. And I realized that the kind of hunger and the kind of talent Jamle has, it might be even better, he might be even better than me. So let's give the best script to best deserving person. It's not like uh, I, I wouldn't have made a good film out of this. I would have made a good film, but I wouldn't have made a better film than what Jamle has made. And I, I truly believe in that, that our company's motto is that let's give chance to people who are outsiders, who really deserve that opportunity because I didn't get it. I didn't have any godfather, I didn't have any my bap. So, uh, I really truly believe in that. I'll just like to add uh, one thing. Is it working? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> so the thing is, I think also, uh, be being like he obviously we met and he uh, gave that opportunity and had that trust in me. But I think also it, it deals with two things. It is one thing is about, uh, you know, one thing is about the foundation on which the company is based on, which is, you know, thorough uh, professionalism and trying to give the talent the freedom it needs. But also Aditya being a director turned producer, it helped me a lot because he's coming out not just with one perspective. He knows what perspective I am thinking of. So that balance is something that I think the destiny gave it to me because I got Aditya that okay he knows why I'm saying a certain thing and there was always a like a conversation. It was always a chemistry built on any decision whatsoever. So there was no friction of any kind. In fact, we both of us also including the other writing team also Munal Thakur and uh, Arjun Dhawan, we always were trying to make it better. So it was always that intention and that I think he's the most important person who led that foundation and that process. He gave that direction. Ki this is how we'll go ahead. And that helped me a lot as a director because I was not under pressure of, you know, how do I say if I have to say something, if I want to make a certain treatment completely different. He was always like, go for it. I mean, 
you try it i mean whatever you want so that i think is a very big uh, big thing for me the the base is basically uh, excellence we have to strive for excellence no matter what and give audience something which they have never experienced before that was the based base uh, with which we made uri also that let's give something which audience has never seen before and same goes for this film all the other films he has directed an another film for us brilliant film we'll talk about it someday else uh it that's also coming out really really soon so yeah excellence is what we are always striving for uh over here yes. uh, hi first hi. of all congratulations to the entire